What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a logo in less than 5 minutes on designhill.com with their logo maker. Now this is not free, but it is a quick way to get a logo. And it's one of the most commonly asked things people uh, DM me or message me about is um, to for me to make them a logo. And it's something I do occasionally, but I'm not the best at it. So this is actually a website for professional logos that you can um, see a ton of options, see um, a bunch of colorways, choose the ones you like, customize them, etc, etc. But let's just go ahead and get started. So right here at Need a Logo, I'm going to go ahead and type in my company name, or my name, which is Quezzy, and generate a logo. Now the first thing you, you'll do is pick out five designs or more that you like. So scroll through here if you see something you like, click on it. Uh, so I like that one. That one's pretty cool. And don't worry about colors here necessarily. Um, you just want to be picking for the aesthetic design, the setup, how, how it's set up. And just where the text is, the fonts, stuff like that. Things that appeal to you. Um, I, that, that's a pretty cool setup. That's neat. Okay, I'm going to do a few more here. And, ooh, that one. Alright, so I picked a few that I liked. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now we're here at the colors. So, if you already know your color scheme, obviously you can go ahead and pick that color or colors. Um, if you're not sure, you can come into the middle and just let the system choose. And you'll get to look at a bunch of different colors anyway. When you select your logo, um, there'll be, or if you select a logo you like, there'll be other options for color that you can look at um, after you select it. So this isn't like finalized or anything and like you're not limited to these colors, but I'm gonna go ahead and select orange because it's my favorite color. I'm gonna pick magenta because uh, if you look at my channel, I have a brain logo, so magenta kind of fits with that. And then I like Scion, so I'm going to click that and continue. And you can see we have more information to add here. So you can edit your name here, and that's the name that will be on the logo. So if um, you like typed your company name in, but on the logo you want less text, you can come here and delete it or whatever, add more. You can also type in a slogan. You can also add a slogan later if you'd like to wait. Um, I'm going to type in Mastermind because that's sort of my nickname. And then come down here to Industry and select whatever industry you're in. And this will help with picking icons and things like that, which is the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and select Computer. And then a budget here. This has no real meaning, it's mainly just for Design Hill. So I'm going to pick $1 to 99 uh, And then go ahead and click Continue. Here we're adding symbols, so these are symbols that would be featured on the logo. So you'll see a bunch of keywords here. These are probably related to whatever field you just selected in that last step. So I have information server hosting, that sort of thing is related to computers. Um, you can also search for symbols here. So like I said, my branding right now is like brain related, so I'm going to type in brain. And I'm going to select um, maybe one of these symbols that I like. Uh, if I scroll, you can see there is a ton of options here. Um, and I'm going to select that one because I think it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then if I want to go back to all those keywords, I come over here to the blue uh, little symbol and come back here. And let's see, maybe I want machine. Do I have anything cool here? I like a gear. Um, I see that robot. I actually like a robot. Let me type in robot and see if we have anything cool looking there. I actually like this little guy here. I'm going to click that one. And I'm going to go back to my keywords. Let's do laptop. <clears throat> I'm going to select a laptop. I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to click on tech and find my last um, logo here. Oh, let's do a Game Boy, why not? And you can see you can add uh, only up to five, so I'm out. If you want to remove them, just come over here and click delete. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. And then click continue when you're ready. 
As you can see, we get a bunch of logos show up, but we also get this pop-up, and all you need to do here is log in, and you can use your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, um, or type in your name and email. I'm just going to use Google+, because it's the easiest. And you can see all of these logos we have suggested for us. So I'm going to scroll down and look for one that I think is pretty cool. I'm going to load more as well. Alright, so I like this one. I like the aesthetic of this one. Um, so I'm going to come here and click Edit Logo. Now of course if you like it that much you can click down Download a while, but I'm not ready for that step yet. And you can see we get some things here in this Preview tab. Um, so obviously the logo, our color palette, and if we scroll down, we'll see a bunch of mock-ups with the logo on different products and signs and things like that. Um, so you can scroll through and see what that would look like. Um, I'm going to come back to the top and actually click over here on Layout Variations. And um, you'll see that this just gives us the same logo or the same symbol, which is the little robot, the same font, and the same uh, font for both texts, actually, and the same colors. Uh, but it just lays it out in different ways. So if you like the color, symbols, fonts, all that, you can come here and see if there's a better orientation for it. And you can, of course, click Load More and scroll through. I'm pretty happy with the ones I have here, and I think the changes I'll make, I can make um, in a later step. Um, also, you can come over here to generate more logos if you actually don't really like this logo and want to do something different. But I'm going to come here to Edit Name and Slogan. And you can see we can edit it, edit this personally now rather than um, doing layout variations and just looking for something. So if you have this logo and you have an idea of how you can improve it, um, you can come here and do these individual edits. So up here you can change the name again. You can also make it uppercase or lowercase by clicking either one of these buttons. Um, if you do that, click uppercase and go lowercase. Um, you'll notice there's no way to go back to just um, like a capital Q. You have to come in here and just put add it back um, no problem and then you got font size and letter spacing here so you can space out the text if you want a little more room there um, I'm gonna bring mine I'm gonna actually increase mine slightly it was at one I'm gonna go to two and a half and the font size obviously you can increase and decrease I like mine at 72 um, they're usually pretty good with the font and letter spacings for the main text subtext um, maybe a little different um, then you can come over here and change company name fonts. So you'll see there's a bunch of categories here at the top. And you can go through those categories. I'm on Bubbly right now, which kind of fits this robot logo. Um, a more Bubbly font would make sense. But if you're a more serious company, maybe you want to go Sans Serif. Um, find something simple or Serif even. Also futuristic. Since I'm computer, maybe a futuristic. Uh, font would make sense along with the mono space and obviously you have handwritten calligraphy display funky it just pick whatever um, you'd want um, if there's a certain idea or aesthetic that you're going for um, for me I'm happy with the font that was selected for me so I'm not gonna really go into depth on that I'm not gonna change it you can also come here to edit slogan and it's the same as the uh, company name with the edits, although you do have a text distance which can move that text closer to the main text. Um, I'm going to move mine to about 35. If it wants to go to 35, there we go. And I'm going to come here to change slogan fonts. Now I'm not 100% sold on the font I have. I'm going to go to Sans Serif actually and see if I can find one a little better. And personally, I like this one of these two. We'll go with this one. This one's a little more interesting. And I'm going to click update to this. And that'll just update that font. And now I want this to be a little smaller. So I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. And then move my text a little closer. You can see we have some overlap. So I'm going to decrease the letter spacing. And then I'm going to move that back up. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Now we can go to edit colors for all of these elements. So if you're not sold on your color um, that was selected for you, you can come here. If you want to see completely different color variations, obviously click color variations. Scroll through, there is a ton. I'm not going to go through a lot here, but you can see like this is all the oranges and stuff. And I'm not even out of the oranges yet. It just keeps going. So 
keep going or you can keep scrolling through there um, you can also come here and click one of these colors so maybe yellow and scroll through and uh, you'll see a bunch of different yellow color schemes um, and you can do that with all the colors and if you like one you just click update to this obviously um, you can also click here at multiple color and that's like a similar thing to the color variations but it includes a few more colors and you can individually edit different things so if I want the background color to be different I can click background and maybe I want it to be black I can come here click black see all the different shades um, so obviously black there's not a lot of shades it's just grays and this one has a little bit of red in it but you can do that for any of the colors and any of these individual parts again I'm pretty happy with my color uh, palette um, I might actually just come here and change the background to maybe an orange because like I said orange is my favorite color and I think orange would work here and I'm gonna do this orange here and I'm just gonna click update to this and boom it's updated super easy um, now um, if we go here to symbol we can edit the symbol itself and you'll see four options here and they're pretty self-explanatory so the above option is what I have currently with the symbol above the text and then I can move it to the left you can see it's like that to the right and then below but I'm gonna leave it up top because I think that's the best look for this layout and then I can also change the simple size if I want it to be slightly smaller maybe a little bigger um, I like a hundred and then again the symbol distance how close it the symbol is to the text um, I just want a little space like yeah, maybe a little more like that and then of course right here you can come and change the symbol so if I click that you can see we have a search and it automatically searches tech um, I think that's because it was my last search uh, I'm not actually quite sure but you can just type in whatever you'd want there and click update if you find a better symbol I don't really want to change my symbol so I'm just gonna click the X and also if you don't want a symbol and you just want a letter you can come to add monogram and go ahead and pick out a monogram that you can change fonts of or whatever and play around with that. I'm not a big fan of the monogram myself. I prefer the symbol, um, so I'm gonna ride with that. Now the last tab here is container. So if I click that, um, you can see I have an add inner container and add outer container. Also, you'll notice if we go back to edit colors, there's an inner container and outer container tab here that were grayed out. And that's because I don't have a container on my logo here. Uh, I just don't think it would have fit with my aesthetic that I was going for. I'm, I like a more simpler logo, but if you want a container, come here, add inner container or outer container. I'm going to show you an inner container first. And an inner container just goes around the symbol we have chosen. And you can see we have a ton of options on that one. Um, a lot of circular ones. And some of them have different themes like this is kind of like a little thing of wheat which would fit in if like you were a brewery or something I don't know if that's wheat but it's like flowery maybe um, goes along with something like that and you just have a bunch of different variations here like I said I don't really want a container so I'm not gonna select one although some of the outer containers are pretty cool I'm gonna come over here and click add outer container and you can see we have even more options here for containers uh, obviously an outer container contains everything and you can have an inner container and outer outer container together um, that's no big deal and you can also edit the containers color and etc like I talked about earlier um, I'm not sure if there's a container I, I'd like here um, maybe I'll look to see if there is one just to put it on Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to leave it without a container. Uh, but you can see there's different shapes and types here that you can play around with if you have an idea of what you want. Maybe you want a brush and you can look through all the brush looking containers here. Um, some of those are pretty interesting. And yeah, but I'm going to stay with what I have. I'm actually going to go back to preview too and see what our new um, mock up looks like. Our new palette. There it is. Let's see. Um, it doesn't really change on any of the mock-ups because I didn't really do too much, but it does still look good. And yeah, I think we're good to go to finish up. So I'm going to come over here to download, click that. 
And this is the final steps. Basically, you just select whatever package you want. And you got the basic premium or enterprise. The premium is probably the best because you get a lot of the stuff like ready to go. Well, this is just a basic uh, logo. So let me show you what the sample looks like if I download the sample real quick. Um, you can see, you first of all, you have a brand guide that has your your font, your slogan font, and your color scheme. So the FFF is the white, and then that's my orange hex code there. And then I come here, I have all the EPS files with the background, transparency, um, dark and white, PDF with the same thing, PNG with the same thing, and, and SVG with the same thing. So that's all you get with that, uh, which is really nice for um, 65 bucks. Uh, also, you have these add-ons that you can add for uh, $30. There's three of them. Uh, there's a business card design, which you will get three business card des uh, design concepts that you can uh, add on if that's something you're looking for. Also, letterhead design, and again, three letterhead design concepts um, that incorporate your logo. And then um, a third one, which is a t-shirt design, uh, which is th three t-shirt design concepts. So those are some add-ons you can... Uh, tack on to the logo design. So if that's something you're looking for you can just go ahead and click add um, And then if you add it and you don't want it you can go ahead and click remove pretty simple And that is this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed if you did, please leave a like uh, Be sure to check out this website down below. Thank you for design hill for sponsoring this video obviously and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace